Hello again. This is Roger Kochbar talking about bioelectricity, and we are at week two, segment seven. I thought it might be useful in this segment to ask a few questions, first for me and then for you. Let's look at the ionic concentrations for frog muscle. What is the NERT's potential for potassium? What is the NERT's potential for sodium? And what is the difference? Now, I think earlier in the lectures we were computing these values for the concentrations present in the nerve of the squid, but now we'd like to do them in the muscle of the frog. So first, uh, what will be the equilibrium potential for potassium using the concentrations that are present in the frog? That's normally denoted EK, so I'll write it that way. That will be RT over F times the logarithm, concentration extracellular, concentration intracellular. Now I've written LN as the logarithm so as to emphasize that this is the natural log, not the log base 10 or some other log. So uh, when we compute it, we'll compute it that way. RT over F we've studied many times up until now, so we know that's 26 millivolts. It's now the logarithm. Extracellular over intracellular. So that'll be 2.2 .2 over 124. Units aren't important here as long as they're the same units, so I won't write those in. If you look, if you think about taking the logarithm of 2.2 .2 over 124, it's a number less than 1, so you know right away that this is going to be equal to minus 26 millivolts times the logarithm of 124 divided by 2.2. .2. I'll leave that up to you to complete the calculation. If we ask the same question for sodium, then the question is answered by substitution of now the sodium concentrations for frog. Four and 109 into the same basic equation the equilibrium potential now is denoted E in A. It's the transmembrane potential at equilibrium for sodium. So it's denoted E in A, and that'll be RT over F logarithm in A extracellular in A intracellular. I'll leave it up to you to uh, determine the actual number, but we're expecting a positive number this time because NAE is greater than NAI. If we now ask as part C of the question, what is the change? Well, that's easily obtained. That's simply the values we obtained in the previous two slides, ENA minus EK. So we found those, and I'll, you'll fill this in, and you'll fill this in, and you'll determine the shift. Thank you very much. We'll move on uh, to the next segment after looking at this picture of the beautiful Duke University Library. Thank you.